What's going on, guys? It's a really bad day in this country, and I think if as long as God is with this man, he will be our next president and our country will be saved. I know that for those who aren't in the know, um, that might be a very troubling statement, and it might just be because you don't know. Um, Donald Trump was just, someone just targeted him for assassination. Um, thank Jesus that he, he wasn't killed. But you, you got to ask yourself why. Why is Donald Trump up in the polls? You think half the country is racist? You think I'm racist? Why Why is it that these people are so adamantly against him? Why have they uprooted legal jurisprudence and precedent to go after him? They took his $1.5 billion home and devalued it to $18 million, gave him a half billion dollar bond for his New York, overvaluing his properties, $80 million to... E. Jean Carroll for an act that she doesn't remember when or where it happened. He said it never happened. Fannie Willis here in Georgia. It's really, really a sad thing to see someone targeted this way when all he did was do good for our country. And people might say, what did he do good, Beastly? He did a hell of a lot good, a lot of good. And we're going to juxtapose that today, but I'm going to show you what just happened a few minutes ago. The amazing thing is, I don't wear this all the time. This actually came from Donald Trump. It came from the White House. And I take great pride in, in the fact that he spoke to me and, uh, you know, he acknowledged me, spoke to my daughter, interviewed us, and uh, sent us this from the White House. So I'm very, very forever proud of that moment. But I want to show you what happened today at uh, his rally. Said, take, take a look at what happened. happened. So they tried to kill this man. And you got to ask yourself why. They tried to kill John F. Kennedy. Kennedy wanted to move us away from the military industrial complex. He wanted to declassify information to the American people and actually uplift the American people. And you got to remember, there are people in positions of authority who do not want your freedom. They do not want you to be a free thinker. They want you to watch MSNBC and CNN and Fox News and consistently be bamboozled and hypnotized by these people who don't blink when they talk to you. Donald Trump, during his four years of presidency, was under the microscope of our judicial system. Before he became president, the FBI opened an investigation into him called Crossfire Hurricane. This investigation really was an operation to unseat him before inauguration, before he actually took the oath of office. So they were trying to figure out ways to get him out. They were tapping his phones, all these things that he was telling people. And, of course, the media told all of us, all of you, that it was all made up. So they did that to him. Hillary Clinton paid Perkins Coie and Fusion GPS. So Perkins Coie is Hillary Clinton's uh, legal office, her law office. They per paid this company called Fusion GPS to contact a British spy named Christopher Steele. And he fabricated the whole Russian dossier. And he funneled it back to the Department of Justice through a man named Bruce Orr. And Bruce Orr's wife worked for Fusion GPS. And they disse disseminated that to the media. And we had years of Russia, Russia, Russia. No arrest of Hillary Clinton, even though it was a treasonous act. They tried to handcuff him and make him a lame duck. And everything he wanted to do for the country, they said it was on behalf of Vladimir Putin. And it was all a lie. They took his home in Mar-a-Lago a $1.5 billion estate with hundreds of rooms. People pay hundreds of thousands of dollars to be members so they can come there and visit. It's worth $1.5 billion. This corrupt judge devalued it to $18 million. They gave him a $500 million fine penalty, the largest in history for this particular act, uh, for devaluing or undervaluing his properties for bank loans, even though the banks themselves went to the courts and said that, as, according to them, nothing was devalued. He, he paid on time and everyone made money and they would love to do business with him again. I'm paraphrasing, but that's what happened in the court. The judge says, no, that's not good enough. We're still going to fine him half a billion dollars liquid. E. Jean Carroll, this crazy woman who went on Anderson Cooper and said that she, want, she, she thought that the idea of rape was sexy and she admitted that she had never been raped, says that Donald Trump sexually assaulted her over 30 years ago in a place that she can't remember. 
and they 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 find Trump eighty million dollars for her. And so all this is going on as we all watch the spectacle. Many people are still under the hypnosis of the left, and they're saying Trump is the worst. He's a fascist. He's a racist. He's, I you know, I love my American people, but you know if you think about how intelligent the average person is. And then you realize that half people are less smart than that. We're in a world of trouble. These people don't do any investigation. They don't do any thinking on their own. They're, they're told what to believe, and then they, they embody the foolishness wholeheartedly without even asking, why am I believing this? Why would I believe this? So Trump was going through a lot in his presidency. He was investigated by Bob Mueller for three years, which found no collusion. They impeached the man twice. They impeached him for asking the president of Ukraine what happened with Joe Biden when he was vice president, when he, he threatened to withhold $1 billion worth of aid to Ukraine if they didn't fire the prosecutor investigating his son in Burisma. He did that because they were investigating Burisma and they found out that they were money laundering to these children of these elite American and global politicians. And Hunter Biden was on the board of Burisma, didn't even speak Ukraine. So Trump was trying to figure out why. Biden's on TV, uh, e either at the World Economic Forum or the Council of Foreign Relations, admitting it, saying out loud what he did. And still, Democrats won't even acknowledge it, won't even Google it, won't even YouTube the video. So he got impeached for asking that. Of course, that impeachment failed. January 6th comes along. We all saw it. You saw it. I saw it. Trump up in all the swing states. It looks fine. Everything looks good. Then they stopped counting ballots. They stopped at 10 o'clock at night. It was the strangest thing. And still to this day, no one's demanding accountability for this. They stopped counting the ballots at 10 o'clock, and then at 3, 4 in the morning, they started again. And then all of a sudden, all the places where Trump was winning, Biden was up and winning all of a sudden. And it was strange. And we were all, I went to sleep after they stopped counting. I said, well, they're going to stop. I don't know what's going on. Let me go to sleep. I got to go to work. Wake up in the morning, and Biden is declared the president. It just smelled fishy. It smelled wrong. And Donald Trump spoke out and said, "This is there's something wrong here. And we all felt it. Now, some people don't like Trump for his personality, but at least he was fighting for you. And I'll get to that in a second. OK, so Trump, January 6th, goes out and has a, you know, a rally and he tells people, hey, look, go and I quote, peacefully and patriotically, let your voices be heard. Peacefully and patriotically, let your voices be heard. People go to the Capitol. There's on video being allowed in by Capitol Police and security walking within the line parameters. And of course, now to Democrats, it's the new Pearl Harbor. It's the new 9-11. It's an attack on democracy. And even though Trump said, go and peacefully and patriotically let your voices be heard. And then he tweeted, don't do no violence. We are the party of law and order. We're the party of peace. We respect our police officers. He tweeted that. They impeached him for that. Once again, it was a failure. It did. He was not found guilty of this impeachment. And Adam Schiff is a real piece of garbage for even, uh, some people just need to be in prison. Anyway, while all this is happening to Trump, Trump lowered taxes on all Americans. He doubled the child tax credit. He started building a border wall for us. The one that we all say we need. We all need the border wall now. We all need it badly. He wanted to build the border wall. The Democrats said, no, we're not gonna give you any money for it. He said, it's only $8 billion to build a border wall to secure our country. They said no. And many Democrats in, in America were like, yeah, that's xenophobic. We don't need a border wall. What are you saying now? When New York and California and Connecticut is all being overrun, our, our women and children are being raped and murdered in the streets, fentanyl is killing hundreds of thousands of people, Americans, he tried to save us. $8 billion. Sounds like a lot, right? We've given over $200 billion to Ukraine. Money we'll never get back that's being laundered to these piece of shit politicians. Vladimir Zelensky's wife is going and shopping at Prada and shopping worldwide, enjoying the money. The most corrupt administration in history is the one we have right now. The thing is, it's like the old adage that the devil's greatest trick is that he got people to believe he doesn't exist. The, the dictators in the White House now, the people who are pulling Joe Biden's strings are the dictators, not Donald Trump, who the people are standing behind. We've given over $300 billion to Israel. The land that for some reason, 
all politicians feel like is more important than the American people. Money we're not going to get back. But the $8 billion to secure our border was asking too much. And now they're trying to kill the man. They're trying to kill the man now. Isn't it amazing? We're on the cusp of World War III with all these global calamities happening. You know, hot wars, people being murdered, Palestinians, over 35,000 Palestinians murdered, women and children. I don't care about Hamas. I'm talking about the people who, who don't have a dog in the fight, who are just living their lives. You know, if Joe Biden were to get us into a war and the Chinese were to come here, they wouldn't care if you didn't have anything to do with it. They would kill you too. And that's what's happening in Palestine. Innocent women and children are being murdered. And Americans are somehow seeing all this. We had the best economy under Trump. Lowest unemployment for blacks under Trump. Lowest unemployment for women in 60 years. Opportunity zones in black neighborhoods. Trump signed legislation giving black colleges, historic black colleges and universities, $250 million a year for 10 years, which had nothing to do with politics because presidents can only run and be in office for eight years. So that lets you know he was a genuine man. He asked them, why do you guys keep coming back? They said, well, Mr. President, they make us come back and, and ask every year. He said, no, 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 we're not going to do that. Trump gave out PPP loans. Trump helped people who were, who were in need. What have we gotten now under Democrat rule? High inflation. Open borders. Illegals coming into our country and destroying our families, destroying little boys and girls, destroying women in the street. Right? Lake and Riley killed over uh, running the track by her school by an illegal alien, had her head bashed in, sexually assaulted and killed. These people shouldn't have been here. How does it make you feel to be an American knowing that your, your great-great-grandfathers fought and died for this country, fought for your freedoms, and illegals now marching up through the Northern, Northern Triangle with Honduran flags and Guatemalan flags, basically an F you to you, fighting our border patrol. I know many of you saw that in Texas where there was like 300 illegals coming in and fighting border patrol and just skating right past them. Seeing this administration flying them to different states, giving them free housing. They've been living for free since 2020 in high rises. The ones that you and I don't get. We got to pay our mortgages. We got to pay our rent. They get free housing, free food, Free education. Some of them are, are, are applying for Medicare, Social Security benefits, and they get free flights to any state. What have we allowed to happen? And while this is happening to our country, you'll stand right next to a person saying Trump is a dictator. Trump is the one. Trump. Oh, never Trump. And you got to ask yourself, why would they go to this level to kill the man? Why would they want to kill him? We might be seeing Trump's last days. I pray to God that we don't. I pray that Jesus is with him because the devil is after him. These people want power. They want to destroy our country. I've been saying it for a long time. How do you destroy a constitution? The American constitution is supposed to stand. But what, what happens when you import 20 million illegals who don't have one and they wreak havoc on your society? And so you, you have... You remove the Constitution and you replace it with something new for the people who've never had one. That is their plan. We're already at the back of the bus. They don't care about us. They don't care about how, how expensive your groceries are, your gas bill is. They don't care. They don't care uh, how expensive child care is. They don't care that you're unemployed. They care about illegals, illegal votes, and power. I hate, I swear to God, I hate the Democrat Party. Not the regular people. Most, most Democrats in the world are uneducated and uninformed. I'm not talking about those people. I'm talking about the ones in positions of authority that use dog whistle language, they use manipulative language to infect the minds of the masses because most people don't critically think. The, the convicted felon, uh, 90, 91 counts, 34 felony now the attempted assassinated president. This act, let's, let's see what else happens. What a shame. We should all be ashamed that we the people are allowing this to happen in our country. The one who's fighting for us.
They're still shooting at him. They're still shooting, and they shot people in the audience too. My goodness. Is this 1080p looking like this? God bless this man. God bless our country. I hope he gets in there and every one of these bastards is held accountable for what they've done. This is 1080p, by the way. I don't know what's going on with the, the video. God bless you, Trump. Blood coming out of his ear. He got shot in the ear. God bless him. God. This is what they're doing to this man. It's not just us. He's telling the truth. They're not just coming after him. They're coming after us, and he's in the way. We've already lost. The American people have already lost their fight. They took his company from him. They said he can't be on the board of his own company for, I think, eight years. I might be wrong. The company that's in his name. They said his sons cannot be on the board for four years. They have used lawfare and corrupt judges to the nth degree to destroy this man. And now he's fighting, literally fighting for his life to save our country. I pray that the American people wake up. I pray to God that the American people wake up and understand what they're doing what they are allowing, what they are cheering on. There are going to be people on TV who are, are going to say crazy things. I wish they didn't miss. This man is fighting for you, fool. He's fighting for your children. Vladimir Zelensky and Joe Biden and Barack Obama and these bastards have already bankrupted our country. Your great-grandchildren are going to be paying this money back. We're suffering the worst inflation in, in probably a half century under this administration. And we sent over $500 billion to wars while the American people suffer? They've taken this man's life from him. They've, they've destroyed his family. They destroyed, he, he has an 18-year-old son. And his son just saw them try to kill his father. Trump has never done anything to deserve what they've done to him. And I pray to God that he wins in the most historic landslide in American history. God bless America. If you're a Democrat and you don't understand... I would ask you to do some research. If you're on an independent and you see evil, you cannot side with it. You cannot side with it. You have to be strong and firm on being against evil. That means being righteous. Donald Trump has never, he had the opportunity to try to uh, you know, lock up Hillary. Many people wanted it, I did. But he went in there and said, no, this is America, that's not, we don't do that. And so he, he was a good man. He did so much for this country. I wasn't able to list probably one tenth of what he done. He did the um, right to try. He passed a bill that allowing people to get out of jail after serving long sentences so they could, you know, get the, their, their life back on track. Right? Joe Biden pinned the crime bill putting black men in prison. I just hope people wake up. I love this man. I do. He said, fight. Fight. We are going to fight, Mr. President. We are going to fight. Praise Jesus, man. We're going to fight. They tried to kill him. Look at that. Oh, my God. My God. They shot him in his ear. Praise Jesus, man. You guys, if you're awake, leave a thumbs up in my video to let me know you're awake. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, subscribe. The Beastly Gamers are alive and well. I've been trying to figure out what I want to do with this channel, and it might be time to bring forth what I believe is more important than the millions of video games I have. Of course, I play video games, but I got six kids. I care about their future. I don't want my daughters to be afraid to go to Kroger because there's illegals down the road. I don't want a, a carton of eggs to cost $5. I don't want a gallon of gas to cost $8. I don't want criminality in my neighborhood. I want freedom. I want an opportunity to live a good life. And he's the last one. He's the one standing in between that and pure evil. I hope you guys vote for Trump. If you're not, do your thing. But I, I pray that the American people are waking up to the evil that's happening in our country. I love you all. I'm the Beastly Gamer. 
and I'll see you guys next time.